contestant, right? This body is going to have to decide on that contestation, on whether they're going to uphold it or overturn that contestation. Right. And one of the reasons I'm not on it, I can't be on it, and it's one of the reasons that that policy says if a commissioner serves on that body, such as Aaron, if there's a contest contestation of the award, he can't participate in the in the in the vote to contest it. I'm so, sorry from HUD, correct? Yeah, sorry from HUD. Yeah, we need to be off. So it now needs we'll, to be a separate independent body. So when we go to actually picking the result, that's going to go through the procurement. No, that's also going to come through this committee because again, if we pick developer A mm -hmm. and they contest that, that contestation is going to come to me and you. And we're going to have to make that decision and we shouldn't have been involved in picking that developer. That should have been from a separate body. So, so this is how other RAD groups have done it in the past? That's correct. Okay. That's good. That's good. Is that good for you, attorney? Anything else on that, Harold? Well, we don't know if we're going to have yeah, one developer up. or right. a series Go ahead, Harold. Uh, I think you hinted, uh, Director. The fact of the matter is that the Enterprise Group and the HUD people right. have been very involved in the discussion of how we would pick a developer. And if it were up to them, this commission would not have much of anything to do with it. I pushed back on it and made clear to them that we would be prepared, as Mark said, to have an independent committee do the evaluations in order to avoid the uh, concern that HUD had that it would be uh, not vetted by the entire community. But ultimately, it's going to the board, and the board is going to make the final determination. And that part of it hasn't changed. What did change at the emphasis of HUD was this creation through a change in the procurement policy to have a separate developer committee to take all of the initial action, both on the evaluation of the RFQs and the ultimate evaluation of the RFQs. Thank you. Will, will the final decision of the developer be selected by them. They will make no. a, re a no. recommendation. No. They will not. A recommendation select. for one singular developer? Well, it depends on how or many we want to go with it first, but we think it will be one at this point for phase one. But it will come to you. But it will come to you. the board for the final determination. I will point out to you that that determination will have to also be considered by the city, right. and ultimately the city has a say in the designation of the development. And I think that's that's another reason why I think they they have to button up their note taking at the meetings, just so there's background evidence and there's right there's no there's evidence of no bias. There's no, I mean, sure, you can do I, think, I think right. Absolutely, we'll make sure yeah. that we take notes. And if we Thank want to you, see, to, to, to Commissioner Sanford's point, if we want to see information on these firms, we're completely, that's a complete yeah, open of course, process. Right? Eventually, we're going to have to vote on them anyway, so you, we're going to so get all can, that information. Can, are you going to send that out? I can absolutely send it to you. I think that's yeah. for everyone Thank to see. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Colonel. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, Madam Chair, yes. I would just like to make a motion to table resolution number 2023-07.08. Anyone like to second it? No. Uh, Madam Chair, I would like to make a motion to reject all RFQs. A motion? A motion, yes. Is there a second for that? No. Sorry. Thank you. Director, could we move on with the resolution? A Forbes? Yes. A Impostato? Yes. A Lewitt? Yes. B. Reyes? Yes. M. Russo? Absolutely, yes. J. Sanford? No. B. E. Seitz? Yes. Thank you. Resolution number 2023-0709, a resolution of the Housing Authority of the City of Hoboken to establish a policy requiring reimbursement to the Housing Authority by commissioners for certain event 
attendance expenses. Motion. Second. What is this? Sure. So, would you like to move to what you like? So, yeah, sure I can. Um, so, we experienced uh, twice um, that a commissioner signed up to go to a conference and then backed out at the last minute. And we wound up having to pay for that conference and pay for some travel expenses. And if you're going to sign up, you got to go. Who's that? Who's the commissioner? Mm -hmm. I should, you're not allowed to say? Well, well I mean, I guess you could, but I think you should, you should probably handle that offline. And the idea of this is that moving forward, no retroactive, but moving forward, that this body knows that if you sign up and the housing authority extends finances for that, you will have to repay that. If you're not able to. And why is it not retroactive? Because we thought, I thought it was the fairest thing to do because this policy was not in effect before. What's the total amount of money? I don't know. Emil, do you know what the total amount was? Come on, and we'll get off here. I can give you the total rabbit after that. That's fun. He doesn't even turn his head. He just says, Emil, what do you got? <laughs> what you got, guy? He's a bell. <laughs> That's in my office. Uh, about $1,700. So, so the person signed up for two people, two. two individuals signed up to do something. We bought airfare and hotels. Yes. And we lost money. Yes. And it's, why can't it be retroactive? I don't understand how that's the choice of the board. I, I mean, can I make a? Can we make a motion to make it retroactive? No. Well, you can make. Well, you you could. can do it. I mean, but I don't think that that's fair, and I'm just being honest with you. Because it wasn't a policy that was on the books before. So I think it's fair now that now it's on the books. We know which, which um, I think Lutez does an amazing job at sending everyone a, an email with what conferences are coming up and you have the ability to, to say you're coming or you're not coming. And um, so I think it's the fair way. Can we add that though to the running total of expense so I would like to be heard on this resolution. May I speak? Sure, absolutely. The presentation of this resolution uh, to me, uh, I must go on the record and say it was interpreted as retaliatory. I would be voting no. I urge the authority in its best interests not to engage in retaliatory action. Thank you, um, Commissioner Sanford. I'd just like to put on the record that this is in no way, shape, or form any retaliatory effort against anyone. This is why I just stated to Andrew, that I, um, Commissioner Pastado, that I think it's best that we don't do it retroactively. We do it moving forward. But as we all sat here today and we all said that we have a duty to oversee the money that's spent in the housing authority, I think it's only fair that if we do not, if we sign up and we make the housing authority spend the money and we do not show up, then Madam, unfortunately we should be Madam held Chair. accountable. So again, this is not retaliatory. I again also want to say that this is not to one commissioner. We've had it happen in two in different instances. So in no way, shape, or form is this a retaliatory action towards any of the commissioners that this, you know, that this affected. Madam Chair, I need um, to go on the record. So we, if you want to take it another step, if you want to take it another step, you could do what I did when I was there. We did a, 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 we, a daily update. So I said, unfortunately, we, we, everybody has the information now. I did a synopsis of what happened every every day and we sent it to all the materials so everybody get a feel of what happened and you i think it was expressed the last two meetings what the meaningful for me was at that meeting was to know that we're not in a box yada yada we can talk about later so there's value there if you want to add that in and say you have to give a you know an extra step I, I, well i think we did there, add that no in problem. we did add that in a few a few months ago when we spoke about the fact that we um, doing these conferences. The director actually has asked the commissioners to be more proactive in attending these yes. Um, yes. these conferences because, again, we all have a duty 
for, to serve on this board and we need to educate ourselves on what's really happening across not only our state but across the nation. So with that being said, um, I appreciate that, what you just said, um, Commissioner Seitzman, but that was actually stated when we decided that two or three commissioners, two commissioners, I believe at a time, would be able to We've two. only had one, it's only been Denver so far? No, we've had two different. Two. We've had two different conferences. What's the other one? Um, I, I don't know what's the top conference. The state election. conference and then the Denver conference. So is it, is it two commissioners can attend and talk in? Any two commissioners any two that are any, available to so go. So one commissioner to, could attend all. If, yeah, there's no one else that wants to go. You have, when Lourdes sends out the information, she does an amazing job sending it months ahead and up to the registration date. If you are able to attend, then I would just, you know, say I'm interested. Now, we, we don't have any commissioners who can attend and it's the same commissioner. That's not a problem either. It just, I would like to give everybody a chance. Madam Chair, I need to go yes. back on the record and repeat that the timing and the presentation of resolution number 2023-08.08 is retaliatory. The, I'm just curious. The, the, the comments, the comments no of the commissioners, so the comments it. of the commissioners to Don't engage in a... To, but no to, one knew it was you until you just said it was you. Do you understand that? Does that make sense to you? The I comments know of Commissioner Impostato to go retroactively is further but evidence of the retaliatory, retaliatory nature of this resolution. Okay, direct, okay, director, oh, that's it. No God. further you, discussion. You don't sound Can we please call the vote? <laughs> you sound certainly good. Is there a motion and a second? Motion, motion second. A Forbes. Yes. A Impostato. Yes. A Lewitt. Yes. B Reyes. Yes. M Russo. Yes. Jay Sanford. No, this resolution is retaliation. Yes. Thank you very much. Motion, Motion to close. I. No new business. <laughs> I hope. Not. <laughs> not after this one. New business? <laughs> Anyone? I'm scared to ask. Is there any new business? Motion to close. Thank you for having me. Give me a minute. Yes. 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 Yes.